Peggy 18. DNA Media. Send more beats on the track. Peggy 18. Peggy 18. Well, if they weren't, we wouldn't be at AK-47 Stadium here in Hexon, Texas. Bring your body armor to the stadium or wear a body bag for the ride home in the hearse. It's the opening day of a new season with a new coach and GM. If you like Slaughterfest, <laughs> well, you're watching the right. The Baltimore Razors take on the Hexon Oilers. Have won the alien flip and can choose to kick off or receive. Kickoff. They want to kick them in the nuts right out of the gate. Welcome to week one of a new MFL season. Hi, everyone. This is Grim Blitzrow, and the kickoff is about to begin. Let's hear the pregame pep talk. Yeah. It's game day here on the MFL Network, ready for a new football season to kick off. Grim Blitzrow along with Brickhead Mulligan. Any thoughts on today's game, Bricks? Well, we got a new coach leading the team of rookie underdogs at the battlegram. A uh, little big horn comes to mind. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. Why are they going for it, Grim? This seems like the 
situation where they should always, always, always punt. Well, tell our viewers what you would do, Bricks. Ah! And the defense anticipated a pass there and put an end to their... Well, that's a strange penalty call right there. I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and it don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. First and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. trick the quarterback can't dump it and now they're gonna dump his ass oh holy montezuma's revenge that's a crap your pants and die tackle oh, that montezuma was very vengeful wasn't he bricks wonder what made him so mad yeah it was probably all the diarrhea yeah, you're probably right yeah they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to mexico forever to crack their pants Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is in time, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. <laughs> First and ten. And the defense just called the ginormous dirty. Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room it goes right through yeah like a double stuff burrito from taco hell when you give up points you need to get them back here comes the kickoff let's see if they can make them pay First and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. And this game is up for grabs. Second down and seven.
second down in a lot. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my bra off us at golf, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night locked up for solicitation. You know, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick. The ref goes a penalty. You know, the NFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. You stupid jerks. You guys suck. Yeah. and two. It's a jailbreak and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. <laughs> First down and one. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. First down. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all you can eat buffets? They're not as literal as you think. Third down and the punter is warming up. 
It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. on the track. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Welcome to the MFL halftime show. Once again, it's time. You ready for some fun, kids? Zombie rep season is now open. That's a clean pickup. Nice pickup. Win some, you lose some. This guy was a clear loser. Peggy, 18. The teams come out of halftime all tied up and ready to battle it out. Oh, jeez, Grim, I hope someone ties them soon. They gotta play football. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. The chain's moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Second down and ten. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. Man, what a hit that was. <laughs> Second down in a lot. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Third down and, well, good luck. First down to keep the drive alive. First down and three. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. <laughs> Trying to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. When you get knocked down, you gotta get 
right back up and fight. Now, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. He had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. And that'll be second and eight to go. And they call a ginormous dirty trick. He's so big the last time he saw And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. <laughs> Third down and eight. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Pow! With the brain scrambler. First and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Looks like a pass and we're at the two-minute mark in the second half. Second down and more than the QB would like. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. I want to take a big boost injection, too. Uh, now that has weird side effects, Bricks. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. <laughs> the defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clock. Still, Grim, my wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait, what? You're married? Mm, it's complicated. And it's first and ten. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full of. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Second down in a lot. Incomplete. The receiver couldn't get there. You, know, you got to stay focused on the field, Bricks. You can't lose your head in the heat of battle like he did. Just slows the game down. Third down and long. He 
dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, the kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty... Huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Grim. This could get uglier than the baby resulting from an orcish family reunion. And that was well played. The defense anticipated a pass. And put now these penalties have really gotten out of hand, especially since they're fake. Yeah. Go to dirty tricks and hit attack ref. Yeah. It feels good. Yeah. says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> and this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just get the points and let's move on. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And that's like stepping in fresh dog dude. That's not a kick you put on the resume. First and ten. This ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple. And the Oilers just got spanked. And let's go down to the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.
Jackson or beats on the track. 